Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been quite a while. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is O Darlin, also known as Planty Plants on Instagram, and I am addicted to plants. Thank you. But today's vlog is a very exciting vlog. As you guys heard by the title, I am getting my two wish list plants today in the mail and they've been stuck in transit for nine days nine days nine when they were only supposed to be in transit for three days so i am very nervous i'm scared i don't know these plants ah! i am so excited i've never thought this day was gonna come where i could finally have this plant with me and just have this rare plant that I was like, you know, I started out with a spider plant and now I'm getting this plant in the mail. But yeah, that's that. Uh, some other updates I could show you guys before it comes. I could show you guys my setups and how everything is going. I got a tattoo, by the way. I don't know if you guys have seen it on my Instagram, but I got a tattoo. It's not finished yet. But let me show you guys around real quick and hopefully the next clip is gonna be me opening the box. So right here, right here we have this setup. I have most of my plants here, the hanging ones and all this. I have my monstera right here, which she goes over there, but for the video, I put her here. And I bought an IKEA cabinet. Now it's not done yet. I just got it. I just installed these two little floating shelves right here, which I'm pretty nervous about because I hope it doesn't fall in the middle of the night. My pink princess, my scantonium, my squammy. This is my begonia and a few others. I actually have a a baby pink princess right here and she's actually pushing out growth. So I'm really excited about that. And we have the bottom shelf. Everything is gonna be set up better. I just got it on Facebook Marketplace actually for 50 bucks. So that was definitely a steal. I have my Brazil and my skimdapses trailing on the wall and they're all doing pretty good they're here they're here finally after nine days being stuck in transit we're gonna see if they're okay we're gonna see how the situation is i'm pretty pretty nervous and before okay i'm not gonna tell you i'm just gonna open it let's just let's just open it because let's oh, let's do it Let, let's do it ah. My heart is literally racing right now. Ugh. Good packaging. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, so we have two plants right here. Okay, let's let's do this one first. I know what this one is. This is the Biggest one. Okay, so this is the first plant. The first plant is a Milano, and she looks pretty good. First plant is a Milano from Dendria Milano. Nine days, no damage. Um, I see like little rips. But that's totally fine. She's pushing out a leaf right here. I am definitely have to give her more support for the next plant. Mom, baby. Please be okay. Please be okay. And Monstera Alba. Freaking Alba. Oh my gosh, look at this. Holy crappers. I'm like in shock right now. Like I'm looking at her, everything looks good. She is pushing out another leaf right here, which looks to be extremely variegated, which is I'm so excited for. We have a Monstera Alvo. Look at those <laughs> leaves, guys. She, I'm so tired. She's pushing out a baby right now, but what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna give them some water and we're gonna give them some light because they've been stuck 
in a box for over eight days. Oh, little tiny little baby. And then we have this uh, long Milano. This one is definitely in need of more support. Okay, so let's give them some water. They are definitely in need of water right now. All right, so I'm watering this baby with some liquid dirt, some added nutrients. Hi, babe. Um, I'm gonna give her a few days to settle down. I'm not gonna touch her for about maybe two weeks. And then I see how, and then I want to go check the root system and maybe repot her. This one, I think she'll be okay for a while in this pot because it's big enough. But the Milano, I definitely oh, want to repot her. So I'm giving her some water. I'm letting her, letting her soak it in. I'm going to leave her there for about 20 minutes so she can soak up all the water that she needs. And the Milano, little baby, you're huge. I have long sticks that I'm gonna use for her. And I'm gonna put them in my Ikea cabinet to give it some more added humidity for now. Ah, okay. So I'm gonna leave also the Milano here soaking up some of the water for about 10 to 15 minutes and see how it goes. All right guys, so while the elbow is soaking in in some nutrient water, I'm gonna add some more support to this baby right here. Oh my goodness, you're taller than I thought. Okay, definitely, definitely taller than what I was expecting. But uh, if you guys are interested, I will link the shop where I got her them from down in my description definitely check her out she was the sweetest thing ever she felt so bad that they were like delayed in transit she just facetimed me too to make sure that they were okay what do i do i do okay that seems to do it all right guys as you can see i put my elbow in my ikea cabinet and i have my milano that's almost heating the top ah, that was that was an emotion of roller coasters but thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up for the elbow and the milano getting here safely be sure to give me a follow on instagram subscribe and if you want to learn more about plants if you want to just start getting into the hobby of plants make sure you follow me and you never know maybe you'll find a new passion i also do consultations if you guys would like to book a consultation with me um the link is going to be down below it's more detailed and yeah now i have to go clean this up thank you guys bye